Hello there, welcome to another video by Pegasus Drone Media on uh, the H520 uh, and in this case it's the ST16S, okay, the controller. So I uh, was that video in on Friday and uh, what looked like a gimbal error on my E90, turns out it's actually an error with the ST16S. Uh, what's happening is the camera is jittering like this very, very slightly um, and will not settle. So after doing the big update of V1.5 on Friday, I just I discovered that it wasn't actually the camera that was at fault because when I put all three cameras on, the same thing happened. So um, that brought me to uh, the ST16S, which I went through a series of tests with calibrations, and it turns out the pot on the K2 slider, which is your tilt slider, um, has actually gone wrong. Can't go wrong with it. So I've been on to the Unique UK this morning, um, and the lads there, brilliant, excellent customer service, superb. I've always say this. Um, I've said, take it apart, we'll send you a pot, basically. So they're going to send me a pot to replace this. So um, I've never taken an ST16S apart before, um, but uh, Perry at Unique UK has talked to me through it, what to do and how to do it. So I'm going to share this experience with you. So things may go wrong because it's not something I've ever done before. Um, so just bear with me. I'll edit out the bits that <laughs> go really wrong. Um, so let's get on taking this apart and have a look to see what the inside of an ST16S looks like to be able to change the pot. So to get started, you need to remove the two handles at the back of the ST16S. They simply pull off. There is a little bit of glue there and also some rubber prongs that hold them in place. When you've removed both of these, you also need to remove the battery from the ST16S because there is a screw underneath that compartment that you'll need to undo to be able to release the back from the ST16S. There are now eight screws to remove from the back of the controller. Three at the top, which are using a hex screw, and the two at the sides underneath the handlebar grips, what you've just removed, they are also a hex, and then there's a Phillips screw just underneath the battery compartment. You may find that you cannot find the two screws that are underneath the rubber mounts that you removed and that's because the clear tape hides where the screws actually are but they're just on the edge uh, one near the top one near the bottom as you can see in the illustration So once the hex screws are out, you now have the Phillips screwdriver in hand to undo the screw that's underneath the battery compartment. The back should now just simply pull apart. There are no wires attaching to the circuitry boards or anything, so it should simply just uh, come apart. So as you can see, it's easy to get to the K2 slider switch now. There are just four screws on the motherboard, which are, are holding the circuit board to the, um, to, to the actual casing. But we do have to turn it over and take off some of the beveled edging around the switches on the front. Okay. Right, so um, 
basically we now need to undo these screws just here and also we need to take these little bevel uh, screws off there that are holding the front because that's what's stopping that from coming through the front there so remove the knob from the pot controller there just the little screw one um, and then we need to just loosen these off though these should be quite easy to do and all you need to do is just basically just get a screwdriver of some sort and just you've got little grooves in there I don't even see them yeah and all we need to do is just put a screwdriver in there They're only done up like hand tight, so that's done there. That one's done there. So basically, all you need to do is just undo those. So once you've loosened them off, they'll come off um, with with the hand. can now unscrew the four screws holding the circuit board pot onto the ST16 um, and then we will need to look at removing the plastic lugs that are connecting the circuit board to the main motherboard. So all you need to do is gently prise out the plastic lugs now and that will free the pot from the main motherboard. So all that that needs to do now is once you've changed the pot you can now replace it and put it back exactly the same way in reverse. Um, turns out quite a simple process anyway thank you very much for watching this tutorial if I do hope it has been some help to you and if it has please consider subscribing to the channel thanks very much indeed cheerio for now